Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. Today's video is going to be my newly updated beauty room tour, slash filming room tour, slash makeup collection organization tour. Ever since I moved into my new house three months ago, I've had a lot of requests to do an updated beauty room tour, and I have shown myself decorating it in the vlogs, but a lot of you still wanted a formal beauty room tour. Uh, so yeah, I guess technically the only thing I didn't show is my camera because I was using my camera But I do use a Canon T5i DSLR. <laughs> I don't know much about cameras, but that's the camera I use if you are curious I've been wanting to film this for a little while now But I was pretty much just waiting on my last few pictures on this wall to happen and I'm pretty content with this room I might still keep adding to it over time, but I'm pretty happy with where it is right now. So Figure today was the day to film it. I feel like I don't have to give a disclaimer, but it goes without saying. Um, obviously, nobody has to have a beauty room, but I do treat this as like a second full-time job or just a really heavy duty part-time job to my full-time career. So having a room for me is pretty necessary. I need a dedicated room to film. I need a dedicated room to store all my stuff. Zane has an office, I have my own office. That's just kind of how we look at it. I show you the entire room. I start at my front door and loop my way around. I show you my setup, my everything. I don't go into crazy detail of my makeup collection because I do do broken down makeup collection declutter videos for every category at the end of the year. So stay tuned if you want to see that. They will be coming. Honestly, I'll probably start doing them around October. See, it's usually November, December, but I have a lot to do. So I'll probably start at the tail end of October or the very beginning of November. So they are coming. It's coming before you know it. It's already August. Can you believe it? Um, yeah. Also, my wigs are in this video. So if you want to see my wig wall, you can stay tuned for that as well. Again, I don't go in crazy detail about the wigs, but I do show you all of them. So for those of you who are interested in a wig collection, you're about to see them all in one place. But before we hop into the tour, I did of course film this look. I film every look you guys see on camera. Uh, it should already be up on my Instagram by the time this video goes up. And let me just give you my details. My plugs today are Love Kills Boutique. My choker is from Shop Sun & Co. You can use my affiliate code ButteBean for 10% off. My heart-shaped glasses are from iBuyDirect. This hat is from Fox Blood Shop, and this shirt is from Tee Public. So yeah, without further ado, let's just hop in and do the tour. Hello. Um, hi, how is it going? Uh, this is my front door of my beauty room, so I figured we would just start here. Um, I'm basically just going to show you the whole room. Um, yeah, this isn't anything special. It's just beauty room. My guest room is right across the hall. My loft is right behind this room. You've seen kind of the rough tour if you've watched like my early vlogs when we first got the house and we were showing you around. So you've already kind of seen the layout before if you've seen those. But yeah, this is just the entrance to my beauty room. My uh, like backdrop area is right here. My filming desk is right there in the center. My mural of pictures is over there. My window is right in front of me behind you. And uh, my wig wall is right here. So I think we're going to start here next and just kind of loop our way around and we will finish with like my background and makeup storage. I think that sounds good. <laughs> Can everybody here and see me? Okay. <laughs> this is my wig wall. Um, they are hung up with these command hooks. I will show you a closer up in a minute, but they're hung up with command hooks and styrofoam balls. Pretty much every single wig is a Chrisma brand wig. You can check my FAQ in the description box if you need spelling. Um, most of them are Chrisma brand off Amazon. I have a couple from local shops and two of them I believe are also from Entranced Styles off of Amazon. But yeah, this is my wig collection. I'm not going to do an in-depth wig collection. I'm sorry. I know some of you want it, but I just frankly don't really have an interest in it. I always tell you which wig I'm wearing. I always tag the brand in my pictures on Instagram, so I just don't feel like doing an in-depth collection. You've seen them all. I will even show you closer up right now, um, just so you can get kind of an idea. And yes, I do have a ladder here, by the way. It's kind of the upstairs step ladder, but mostly the ladder so I can reach all of my wigs when I need to. So I just kind of keep them organized, like my short wigs on top, and then it goes into my long wigs, and I just started with like neutral tones, into colorful tones, down the rainbow and then sweeping across all the different ways. I'm just gonna give you a quick pan of all the wigs so you can kind of see what I'm working with. And for the record, I have 44 wigs. I think someone's gonna ask me. Yes, that's a ton, but I love them. And here's just a quick little view of how I store them. I just have these little styrofoam balls on these command hooks, specifically with the metal prong. Um, you just stick it onto the hook and then put it on the wall and then your wig can just kind of 
hook onto it nicely. I used to just do hooks, but the styrofoam balls just help a little bit better. A mannequin head's gonna be your best way to store them, but when you have this many wigs, I don't have enough space in the world for a million mannequin heads. All right, so moving down, my door is there. Wig wall is still here. This is just my closet. There's nothing in here, but I'll show you anyway. It's still just sort of aftermath from moving. Um, I do like that there's windows in here because it keeps it bright, but I just have like excess wig caps on that windowsill, a box of old fabrics that I used to use for backdrops, um, random makeup organizers that I'm not currently using, old wallpaper that I'll get to in a minute. Uh, yeah, that's the closet. It's not that exciting. <laughs> this lighting's the worst, I know. Um, this is my window. I got these curtains off Amazon. Uh, I just wanted cute black and white striped curtains. Um, my door is there. Wig wall is here. Closet's there. Now we are here. All that's really on this wall is just my window so I can have some natural light let in. I usually keep the curtains kind of like this because I find when they're all the way out, it gets a little warm in this room just because the sun shines right in here. So I like to have them just kind of like this. It also kind of diffuses the uh, light nicely. Um, and then right over here, I will show you, but I have just like foam panels to help with the sound as well. All right, so scoot it over just a smidge. I have these little foam panels. I believe I also got these off Amazon. They're just hexagon shapes. I'll link whenever I can in the description box, but I got all of these so many months ago. I will try to find everything, but some of these are just so not important. Like you can just easily search hexagon foam panels and these came in a million colors. So I just did black and white to kind of fit the curtain vibe, black and white. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> let's move on to my picture wall, which is so exciting. I've been obsessed with this and I've been kind of waiting for that to be complete before I filmed this. So yeah, <laughs> this is my big picture wall. The lighting might be kind of funky now because I had to turn off my soft boxes because otherwise they like shine right on these and reflect off. And I know like this light bulb is getting into it. I will show close-ups of all of these pictures and I will try to remember to link all of these artists um, and try to remember who they are off the top of my head. I've bought in so many things, uh, so it's hard to keep track, but I love this wall. I got this wallpaper off Amazon. Um, it's not a perfect wallpaper, I will say. It looks better from afar, and it looks better now that there's pictures all over it, but it's not a perfect transition of patterns. Like, it doesn't end exactly where the next one should begin, so there's certain parts where the little Dalmatian print spots are cut off, and if you look really closely, you can see it. Um, it's really hard to tell now that there's a lot of pictures, but... Yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. I will link it if I can find it, um, but it's not like a perfect wallpaper. It was kind of annoying to deal with. Uh, so yeah, let me show you all of these up close and then I think I'll show you my filming desk and then we will get onto my backdrop and makeup storage. Oh, now that we're up close, you can really kind of see where these harsh transitions are. <laughs> That's okay. Um, this was actually a gift from my friend Christina. I think it's cute, it just says look up. This is from Sugar Fueled. Um, they're on Etsy. I did buy this in person though at the local shop in Orlando called Prometheus Esoterica. I have four of these, so I'll get to the rest of them. This is from Bam Illustrations. I also got this in person at a like vintage market here in Florida. They travel around a lot, this artist, so you might be able to find them at a convention or something. This one right here is from the Cosmic Feminist. Um, they have their own website. I did just turn off my overhead light because it was right reflecting in this one. Um, this one, the You Are the Child of the Universe uh, picture is from Snakes and Roses. They also have their own website. This cute Halloween kitty right here is also from Sugar Fueled. And then up here, this Beetlejuice one is also from Bam Illustrations. I was about to leave this section and move on to the next part without even talking about that one. That one I got off of Etsy. Which artist is this? Let me look it up. This one is from Andrew Heath. So yeah, they have a lot of really cool gaming and just pop culture inspired things. And when I saw this Pennywise, I lost my mind because I love him. Moving right along, this is also from Sugar Fueled. I just love it. It's so cute. Uh, this Shroud X Butte Bean, it's freaking Bats picture was actually made by my sister-in-law Malia, so thank you very much. And then moving up the row again, I know he scares some of you, but this was painted by one of my best friends, Morgan, and I love him. I'm obsessed with Pennywise in case you're new here, but he will never be in my background. Don't worry, I tried that in the past and a lot of you were upset with me. And then this cute witchy cat up here is from Illustratorium Sarah. I hope I'm saying that correctly on Etsy. I love it. She has so many really cute ones. I have a second one from this artist as well. All right, moving on to the last couple rows. This is the other one from that same artist I just showed you. I just love this witchy cat. It's so cute. The two I have are my absolute favorite, obviously, or I wouldn't have bought them. This really cute Kiki's delivery service picture is from Aria Illustration. They have their own website as well. Moving up the line, we have two more from artists I've already talked about. This is another one from Snakes and Roses. Get used to things that working out for you. I love it. I love it. I just wanted like 
colorful, witchy, spooky things on this wall, and I just am obsessed with it. And this one is also from The Cosmic Feminist. It's There is Magic in All of Us. And the one that I uh, showed you already is says, allow yourself moments of peace. Now there's a glare from the window. It's okay. And then this one is also from The Cosmic Feminist. I got three from this one. Uh, this one says, outgrowing my comfort zone. I'm gonna make that not straight. I need to be careful. And then this one is also from Aria Illustration. They make so many beautiful witchy artwork as well. There are probably 50 on this uh, artist's website that I'm obsessed with and I would love them all, but I narrowed it down to two I might get more later and then last but not least one more cutie from sugar fueled uh, what an adorable little guy so yeah that is my kind of witchy spooky colorful gallery wall I love it I think I found some really cool artists a few of them were suggested by you and I really appreciate you I really like how this has come together. Now I include like this much of it in my background. In a perfect world, I'd like for all of this to be my background, but it's really hard to angle the light so they don't reflect. And then a lot of you are scared of him. So it is what it is. Some of it's mostly just for me, but I do have a little section that I include in my background now, which is really cute. But now we're gonna go straight in front of me and chat about my filming desk and setup. Not much has changed since the last time I did one of these videos. Um, and then after that, we will get right here to my backdrop. All right, this is my filming desk. Right in the center of my room, I'm kind of facing diagonal towards my window here. It's right there, those are my lights. Just soft boxes. I'm pretty sure I got those off Amazon, but I've had them for years, probably four years now, if not more. Um, but yeah, this is my table. I'm gonna angle you downward so you can see everything. All right, so this is my table. It's kind of dinged up. I got this from Zane's dad. <laughs> Uh, he used to use it in his martial arts school and he didn't need it anymore. I believe it's originally from Ikea, but I couldn't tell you. Um, yeah, this is just kind of what it looks like. Sometimes it looks more chaotic than this, depending on how much I'm filming. <laughs> Thankfully, all my brushes are clean right now. I've only just started using some. But yeah, I keep all of my brushes here, various just random cups. Honestly, like it's just a variety of cups and mugs that I use to hold things. I could not tell you where everything is from. I keep some of my miscellaneous eye pencils here, like LA Girl, Urban Decay, ones that I don't have like a million of, they kind of stay in this cup. And then this cup is dedicated to all of my NYX and ColourPop. As you can see, this cup is overflowing almost. <laughs> I have this Game Beauty palette just chilling here because I filmed with it today and I haven't put it away yet. My phone's right here because I was just looking up artists for you while I was talking about the pictures. I always have a pencil sharpener handy in case I need to sharpen one of my eye pencils. And I like to keep these right next to me because I wear one every time I do my makeup. I have a beauty sponge here. I haven't used it in a while. I've been using brushes lately, but regardless. I have this brow wax from e.l.f. just sitting here because it doesn't really fit in my cup. And this cup is just kind of like miscellaneous primers, mascaras, eyelash glue, tweezers. It's a very dingy cup now because it's just been so used, but that's kind of what this is for. Just random eyeshadow primers and lash stuff. This cup is also kind of random. It's uh, also true. I am a lot cooler on the internet than in real life. Um, various like liquid liners or brow stuff. I keep my brow stuff in here that I'm currently using. I have like stamps and things, just stuff like that. Things that I reach for frequently enough that I don't want to keep it separate. This cup is brand new. I only just added this to my filming desk a couple days ago, um, but it has all my lip pencils. It's going to have even more because I just got two little vaults from ColourPop sent to me, but I'm keeping them in their package until I have a chance to like chat about them in my PR Roundup review style video at the beginning of, I guess this month because it's already August, but those will end up getting in this cup too. And then I'll be able to have easy access to my lip liner since my lip liner collection is growing. This cup is just kind of random. A lot of dual ended brushes or just like really flat skinny brushes, angled brushes, things like that. I'll do a brush collection video again at some point. I don't know when. I did one like a year and a half ago and not much has changed. So go check that out if you're curious. This cup I keep like my face brushes slash like brow cleanup brushes. And I use this to like blend out my eyeshadow base, but this is just like where I keep my face brushes so they have easy access. My lens cap is chilling here. Random big fluffy brush in case I ever want to put highlight on my arms. Another memory card, little handheld mirror here just in case. I keep whatever lashes I'm currently using at the moment right here because I don't like to use too many pairs at one time. This one is like all of my eyeshadow brushes pretty much besides those miscellaneous ones. And I have it kind of organized like this little quarter because it's in four quadrants. This quadrant is my blending brushes. This is like my packing brushes. These are my flat or very small dense eyeshadow brushes to do really precise lid work or cut creasy stuff. And then this is like my pencil brush slash small blending brush, lower lash line detail kind of 
quadrant. And then just random cups for holding all my brushes as they get dirty. And then over here, this is the, actually the mirror that I use to film with. A lot of people get surprised that I don't use a giant mirror, but I just don't really have room for a giant mirror and that one serves its purpose. That plus the handheld mirror do me just fine. I have the Cinema Secrets brush cleaner just for quick brush cleanings. I have an extra battery, my battery charger. Also just like a elf makeup remover for when I'm doing swatches. And then I also always keep a little very dingy <laughs> microfiber towel in case I need to wipe things off. And then inside the drawers, this is just what I'm currently using at the moment. Um, it just kind of goes down the line of like what I use. I have like freckle stuff, primers, concealer powder, cheek stuff, just various stuff. Just kind of what I'm using at the moment. I change the stuff out. Um, I kind of have double in here right now. Like I have two different things of cheek products, two different kinds of highlight because I filmed with like one of them yesterday and then one of them today and I don't want to forget what I use when I'm writing description boxes. So I just kind of keep them in here until I've like finished writing about them, if that makes sense. And then this drawer is just kind of random. <laughs> I have a lot of lip balms chilling there. I have all of my lashes pushed in the very back now, um, just because they were taking up too much space in my organizers that I will show you in a minute. This is some new stuff from Salem Cosmetics. They're a really small indie brand that sent me some stuff and I wanted to just continue testing this stuff out. So I'm keeping it right here. These are those lip pencil vaults that ColourPop sent me. I just have them here so I can access them easy and then I'm keeping them in their package until I review them. Uh, an extra mirror, dotting tools, random extra sponges I'm keeping in here that I haven't used yet. Random things like Sharpies and tape. Just, this is the random drawer slash also things that I need to focus on. Like I kept this e.l.f. electric mood thing that came in the PR package so I can remember what does what. <laughs> um, yeah. This is that. I have a very old beat up chair that's old from Zane's work. I have a rug down there just cause it makes it look cute and absorbs the sound nicely. Uh, yeah, that's my filming setup. Usually my camera is right there. <laughs> All right, and now we are at my backdrop area. My organizers are over there. Bookshelf, we're gonna talk about the bookshelf first and then we'll move on to the organizers. So I actually figured let's start at the top and work our way down. Um, this top shelf, this Melrose box from a ColourPop PR package, uh, that just has extra brushes in it. <laughs> like excess face brushes that I'm not currently using, they're in that box because it's the best place I had to put them. Uh, Kirby, just for fun, I do not remember where I got her. I couldn't tell you. She does light up but she needs batteries. The old Animal Crossing ColourPop card from the PR package, I just had to keep it. And then the Club Nebula box with Angelica and Kaleidos. I actually have my old body paints in there, even though I'm horrible at special effects makeup. And I don't know if I will really do it again. I still have them there because I don't want to throw them away. Maybe I'll use them again sometime. And then this shelf right here is jewelry. I actually got these cute little collar pins from my friend Jenny. Um, she actually also gave me this Jack Skellington trinket tray. It just has my like rings and bracelets in here. I don't have a ton of them, so they just live in this cute little trinket tray. I'm pretty sure all of these are from Ana Luisa. These two little makeup bags actually have extra chokers that I did not have room for, uh, so they live in there. This first one is all of my earrings. This one is all Spooky Doodle Club. Literally all of this is Spooky Doodle Club. I don't think I'm gonna do an in-depth jewelry haul just because I'm not really interested in that, but again, I always mention where my earrings are from when I'm wearing them. I always mention them in my Instagram pictures. If they're visible, I tag them in my picture. So there you have it. This second drawer is mostly undoubtedly mad. Um, they're on Etsy and they are so, so cool. I love these. Some of these are also just miscellaneous and gifts, but a lot of these are undoubtedly mad. And this last drawer is very miscellaneous. I have some things from like Shop Sun & Co, just little dangly dainty things. Um, I have some belly rings chilling here. I have just random earrings that I've had for years. So that's what this drawer is. I don't really want to linger on anything else too much because the rest of these are a lot more disorganized than those. And those aren't even that organized, but these are all plugs. Um, pretty much all Love Kills Boutique. These are my Love Kills Boutique ones that are not dangly, just regulars. These are my Love Kills Boutique that are dangly. And these are my Hear No Evil jewelry on Etsy that are dangly. I don't have non-dangly ones from them. Uh, but again, I always mention them. I always tag them. I'm just not interested in doing like a full on jewelry collection. So sorry. And then this last one over here are all necklaces and chokers. And I refuse to show you because they're so disorganized and people are going to yell at me because they're so disorganized, but nothing's tangled, nothing's broken. 
it's just very disorganized. So let's move on to makeup. So this first shelf of eyeshadow palettes, um, they're all fairly organized. This little section is Nomad. Then we have Menagerie. Game Beauty goes here. I can put that one away. Let me just slide that right in there. <laughs> this is Shroud Cosmetics right here. These are some of my Kaleidos. I do have Kaleidos a little bit separate. Um, Odin's Eye is all of this. These are Ace Beauté, that's Musse Beauty. I have two new ones coming from Musse Beauty in a couple days, so that's why I have a little gap there. And then that Sugar Pill, and this is Kirby. Pretty sure I got him at Target, or Zane got him at Target. I don't know when or how or why he is here, but he's here. Moving down the line, we have the rest of my Kaleidos ones over there. Here is Melt Cosmetics, one Lunar Beauty one. He's separate from the other ones just because he's cute and I like him to be visible. All of my ColourPop goes all the way until this stack. These are the other Lunar Beauty things, including my Lunar Beauty blush palette. We have the Menagerie blush palette, some Juvia's Place and Likely Makeup back there, just various blush palettes as we get to the end. And then this last row is the most chaotic. Um, these are some Juvia's Place and Dito Cosmetics, Natasha Denona Spoiled Lips, Certify, Ether Beauty, Urban Decay, getting into some Give Me Glow here, Pinky Rose, Black Moon Cosmetics is somewhere here, the Smoky Glow palettes back there, Glam Light Michaela, Alien Cosmetics, Alter Ego, uh, Lethal Cosmetics, Glaminatrix. These are a combination of my single shadows and just some empty palettes. Uh, yeah, that is the whole bookshelf. And now this is the rest of my backdrop. This is just kind of my, my cutesy stuff. Yes, I have a pumpkin candle burning. This is White Pumpkin from Sensational. Oh, it smells so lovely in here, if only you knew. Um, the little plushy Espeon, I'm not sure where she's from, if I'm being honest with you. I've had her a very long time. I got the little Sally ornament as a gift. Zero, I'm also not sh quite sure where I got him. Vampire Teddy I got at Spirit Halloween last year. These flowers are probably just from like Joann's, Michael's, Dollar Tree, like anywhere where you can get fake flowers. This little cutie, actually the owner of Spooky Doodle Club gave this to me and it's so cute. I got this little Pennywise action figure from a store in uh, St. Augustine. Can't remember what it's called, Mythical Mountain or something like that. There's a bunch of like horror action figures there. Zane got me this Pennywise plush, I think from Target. I don't know where this Pusheen is from. I couldn't tell you. I have my unopened It's Frickin' Bats palette because I wanted to have one for display purposes because it's my baby. And scooting right along right next to it, this is just kind of my empty part of my desk. I actually wanna get more of these organizers to spread across more because I need more space. Uh, this is my big box of lippy sticks right here from ColourPop. It just literally holds a bunch of lippy sticks. It's not all the originals that came in it, but you know, it is what it is. Um, ColourPop Bambi highlight. I'm definitely not keeping that long term, but it's cute for display purposes. It just, it gets everywhere. I already got some on me. I didn't even open it. This is a little cat light. I just don't have batteries in it. So he's just out of my way. And once I remember to put batteries in it, I will put him in my background. I just forget. This is the Kaleidos uh, little jewelry box. I don't even have anything in it right now, but I kept it here because I thought I might use it for storage sometime. And then this is just my candle lid and my lighter. <laughs> All right, getting into the actual makeup storage. These are t-shirt organizers from the container store. And again, I want more of them. I think I want two more because then I can have one, two, three, four across the way. Um, but this first drawer has complexion stuff mostly. Actually, completely complexion stuff. Back here are various setting sprays. Uh, right here are various powders and concealers. This drawer is body highlights, liquid highlights, cream highlights. I will do in-depth makeup collection and declutter videos in November slash December, maybe even starting October because I have a lot to go through. This one is various bronzers, powder and cream because I don't have a ton of bronzers. And then cream and powder blushes that are in like palettes or duos, I guess I should say like duo blushes, not quite full on blushes. So. That's kind of what that is. This drawer right here is primers, and this little section right here is foundations. So that's the first drawer. The second drawer, back here we have stick cream blushes. Right here we have powder blushes and also powder blushes here. These ones are all ColourPop, and there's a couple ColourPop right here as well. And then all of these are all powder highlights. We have various, I don't know, Kaleidos ones. I have loose ones, ColourPop Super Shocks. Fenty, Give Me Glow, Odin's Eye, all sorts of things in here. And then in this top drawer is kind of a miscellaneous accumulation of things. 
This is all shadow sticks and like loose pigments. I have those milk chalks. I don't reach for this kind of stuff very often, so that's why I kept it back here because I don't need easy access to it. Same with this stuff. These are liquid eyeshadows. I have some like cream finish ones, like matte ones from Rare Beauty, but I also have glittery ones like from Stila and Elf. I don't reach for these a ton, but I reach for them enough and I know where they are, so I can just grab them if I need. This is various mascaras and brow products that I'm not using at this exact moment. This section is all glitters and it's a mess. I just don't feel like organizing it until I declutter it, if I'm being honest with you. This is all liners, like water activated ones from, they were called Glam Vice, now they're Gavisi Beauty, I believe. And also I have some like lethal gel liners. And this front section is super shock shadows and loose pigments from Sugar Pill. I guess also single shadows from Sugar Pill. I said loose pigments and then I picked up just a regular pressed one. And then moving on to this last section, let me tilt you down just a little bit more. I have various blushes in here and also the start of my lipsticks. These are my squeezy tube liquid blushes in this first little section. Um, I have Rare Beauty Glossier. I guess this isn't squeezy tube, but I guess I just didn't have a better place to put these vial looking ones. And these are my other cream blushes over here that are more in like a pot form. So I have cream blushes in stick form, squeezy tube form, and in like regular pot form. This first section of lipsticks is all my Kaleidos. This one is all of my Rare Beauty. Back here is all of my Lime Crime. And then this one here is all Urban Decay because I just recently got a lot of Urban Decay and I felt like they needed their own drawer. So this next drawer back here, we have various ColourPop Luxe oils and glosses. And this ColourPop one is also glosses, but more like the squeezy tube kinds. I don't know, I have like two things of glosses from ColourPop here. Back here is just miscellaneous stuff. It doesn't have enough to have their own drawer. So I have NYX, Milani, a Beauty Bakery lipstick. I have very random stuff in this back drawer. This one is also ColourPop. It's mostly just like the just a tint lipsticks and liquid lipsticks, things like that. Up here we have all of my Odin's Eye and here we have all of my Sugar Pill. All right, the last but not least drawer. Here we are. Uh, this back one is all of my pixie stuff. Uh, I don't have a ton of pixie, but I guess they just get their own drawer anyway. <laughs> um, this is my miscellaneous glosses. I have e.l.f., Mousse Beauty, Milk Makeup, things that I don't have a ton of. I probably should have put both my miscellaneous things together because this is miscellaneous glosses and the one below it is miscellaneous lipsticks, but you know, whatever. This one here has Alter Ego and KVD Beauty because I don't have a ton of either, so I just combined them. And this one's also kind of miscellaneous. This one has Lunar Beauty, Give Me Glow Cosmetics, Cosmetics, Black Moon Cosmetics, and Melt Cosmetics. I don't know why these all made it together, but they did. And then up here I have all Menagerie liquid lipsticks, and then here I have my Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks and glosses. So yeah, that's that. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, these are very odd for me to film, like just carrying my camera around me, my whole room and doing all these different angles. Um, I hope you enjoyed it though. I liked showing you my room and my setup and my things. I'm pretty content in my room. I like it in here, it feels cozy. I like this room way better than my old beauty room. This one just, it's more put together. It's more, vibey. It has more of a theme. I have like a decorative wall. I did not have that before. So I don't know. It just makes me happy. I think the only thing I forgot to mention are my little twinkle lights. I think I got those off of Amazon a million years ago and they come in the different strings. So I didn't have to like install a million of them. It just came as one big curtain. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Hopefully I remember to mention everything. I will link everything that I can in my description box. If it's not there, it's probably just because I couldn't find it. Um, Cause I, I try to be good at remembering to link everything that I can. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions that I didn't answer, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I would love to know just your thoughts. How's your day going? Let me know down below. If you made it to the end of this video, please leave me, hmm. Leave me an emoji that makes you think of like filming picture taking, anything like that, because I feel like that's relevant to this video. And if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram. It's Butte Bean. Follow me there. I post every single day. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm posting most days here as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.